Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I get a lot of questions. People asking me uh, about what kind of wallpapers I have on my desktops. And, uh, you know, honestly, I get them from a variety of locations. If you come into the chat room and type in what is wallpapers, it'll currently send you off to a, a link of the top sites where I find my wallpapers. But that's about to change right now. Um, this wallpaper behind me, I made it. I made that wallpaper. And I also made uh, that wallpaper. And I also made uh, that wallpaper. And I made them all probably within about five to ten minutes, really. And uh, bottom line is those wallpapers are downloadable, high resolution. You can resize it to your, your own liking. And for free, uh, I've got a, a Flickr account that I'm going to be linking them to. And, of course, I'm going to be posting them all to my blog as well. And I'm going to post a, a you know the wallpaper link as well as a poem that is inspired by the wallpaper. And uh, I have already posted a couple of them in my blog if you want to try it. People are loving them. Now, these, are, these are original images, unique. And you may be asking, well, Chris, you know, you're, you're not an artist. How did you do this? <laughs> Trust me, I'm not an artist. Um, I used a piece of software called Oxidizer. Oxidizer.sf.net. Oh, SourceForge. That's right. It's open source. But it also happens to only be compiled for Mac OS X. So, what I'm going to do here, and you will have to pardon if the color kind of goes wacky. So I'm going to show you Oxidizer. Let me zoom in here. Here's the program, and you'll have to pardon because this is the real star of the show. The program starts out with a simple interface, and yes, I can not only make still images, but I can make movies as well. I haven't gotten into that as much, but I'm going to first go over to this particular button, and what that's going to do is it's going to create inside this gene pool a variety of images that I can go in and decide which ones I like, which ones I don't like. I can even crossbreed between two particular uh, generated images. And by the way, you may be asking, Chris, what are you doing with the 16 gigs of RAM and the 8 cores in your Mac Pro? This uses all 8 cores. So here we go. Uh, it's generated these images, these fine images. And uh, I feel like the, I'm on like uh, Wheel of Fortune, you know. Here, ooh, what's what about that one? You like that one? Here, let's get a closer look. You like that one? Is that a fun one? The blue one? Someone saying the blue one? That one? You like that one? All right, fine. So we're gonna throw those all into the editor. So here we are. Now we've got them in the editor. And I can go in and edit any one of them. But at this point, I want to go into the breeding grounds. I'm going to cross-pollinate a few of these, see what happens. There's the, uh, the window that's telling me it's, it's breeding. Ooh, look at what it did to the pink there. It's messed with the blue a little more. Now i got this wacky green one. I like this one, actually. I like, I like that one a lot. So let's, uh, let's throw them into the editor. Let's try it again. Okay, so now I've got even a few more. We'll throw those into the editor as well. So this is just, I mean, it's all random. I've got a completely random seed. I can change the buffer type, the pistol. pistol. The pixel aspect ratio, alpha, I can use an alpha background, I can set the background color, of course I just, you know, just gone to black. So uh, with this button, uh, or this here, let me just do icon and text, the breeder, I can go in and drag and drop any, ima any one image with any other image and then breed the two. So I can take, let's say put that one there, the purple, and let's go, you guys kind of like the green, didn't you? Ooh, that one's kind of fun. The purple is pretty dramatic with that green one. So I've got those two flames. I'll select that one. I'll select the other one. And let's bring a union. So it'll take that one and that one and put them together to make that one. Um, I can go in and I could, uh, you know, mutate it even further. 
to form another union. Then there's the union. There's the mutation. It's mutated again. That one looks kind of fun. This green neon like glowy thing. All right, so we'll throw that back into the editor. This little oxidizer flame that we made. We'll press the edit button. And hopefully you guys can see this well enough. I mean, it's, it's not. I can zoom in even closer, but it's even more difficult to navigate around. Uh, download it for yourself. Try it for yourself. Uh, if I flip over to the color tab, I could use a color map or use a separate palette, and that will adjust the image accordingly, including palette and the hue, brightness, vibrancy, gamma, gamma threshold, background color. I'm just going to go with the color map. I mean, let's make it completely random. Then under the image tab, first thing I'm going to do is lock to height. Then the next thing I'm going to do is unlock the aspect ratio. Now, since my monitor has this, uh, a resolution of 2560 by 1600, that's exactly what I'm going to set the size to be. Press the preview button. It makes that preview image there. And it also updates it back here. So now I've got that made. I've got this wallpaper ready to go. I go over here, press render. It opens the dialog. Where do I want to save it? I can save it as any one of these images. Let's go with a ping. And I can even show the rendered genome in a window. Give it a name. All right, guys, give me a name. Give me a name here. You can download wallpapers onto the PSP. Perfect. These things, this is a, a perfect uh, wall. Resize whatever you want. Dude, this, these images that I'm creating, I mean, anybody could create. They're Freud's Delight. All right? Freud's Delight.png. We'll save that out. And this is where the eight cores really come in handy. <laughs> here we go with the current flame. And you will see, oops, let's go down here. Over here. Look at my cores. Well, if I move over a little further. All my cores are pumping, baby. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Ooh. It's taking all my CPU, let me tell you. Okay, so. After it's done rendering the image, it'll give me some stats. If I can find the stats somewhere on the screen. There we go. Render finished. Time to render. 37.9 seconds. Yay! Now, what I can do here, at that point, just right-click, change desktop background, drag Freud's Delight into the window, and now if I clear the desktop, the right key, we now have Freud's Delight. So I've got this neon green stuff going down over here, and it's like kind of fuzzy around the edges, and some lines, and just this explosion in the middle. We made that wallpaper in, I don't know, I would say record time. How long have we been running this video? So I'm going to be doing a video, uh, obviously five videos every day, I mean a different wallpaper every day. And going to be uploading it to my Flickr account, going to be updating it to my blog, that's at chris.perillo.com if you hadn't figured it out. So subscribe to the RSS feed so that you make sure you get all the latest wallpapers. And, um, yeah, it's all random. It's all going to be generated. And then I'm also going to write a poem to, you know, kind of, you know, take the title as well as the actual image and how I feel inspired about it. Um, someone named this other image uh, Egg Drop Soup for some reason, this other one. They named it Egg Drop Soup, so I did a, a whole poem on Egg Drop Soup. It's more of a silly one. Sometimes I'll be serious, and very frequently I'll be geeky. Anyway, uh, I look like Brad Pitt. Uh, not even close. Uh, anyway, <laughs> now you know where you can get some free wallpapers, dynamically generated and uh, completely free. My email address is chris at perillo.com. No longer will you have to tell me where to find cool wallpapers. I'll be making them myself, just for you. All right, you good? We're good. Okay. Well, if you if you hadn't figured out, uh, we stream this video 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes you will see me generating wallpapers. I got a few here that I haven't uploaded yet, so you may have to wait a couple days. It's just it's it's fun. It's it's more fun to make the wallpaper than it is to share it. I think. Of course, you may think differently. Anyway, if you'd love to talk tech, whether it's about multimedia creation tools that are free, open source, shareware commercial, doesn't matter. We like talking tech, so you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, and sometimes one extra day if it happens to be a leap year. 
one place and one place alone, and that's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.